Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for heading towards that positive, positive path. I know it wasn't easy. I know you wanted to give up, but you didn't. You keep persevering and you will prevail. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming for you. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload our next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the video or you're just up telling me about your impact again, how it impacts your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video has been also very informative to you or gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friends, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving the channel as me as well. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And as usual, I got this beautiful meditation music. I love that flute in the background. It's so peaceful. It says, ask and you shall receive. Miracle happens. Manifest manifestation. Uh, me manifest meditation. I said, I don't know why I said manifest manifestation. Manifest meditation and the secret law of attraction. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Empaths. Y'all got so many bad old things written down. Empaths finding their their place of purpose they are and it's just like I, I mean it was so long I did not know my purpose in life and you you know you and people are like that's funny I, I everybody knows their purpose in life no they don't <laughs> no they do not there are times we we have to bump and fall bump and fall bump and fall you know we feel like we are like alone and we're not. I mean, it takes for you to really look at things in a different aspect. You have to really look at them in a different aspect. Because if you're in that low frequency, we will see almost the worst kind of dead on things. You are to possibly see that is going on in your life. Instead of paying attention to all the things that, you know, that are coming towards your life. Sometimes we, you know, we concentrate on the things that happen in our lives but it's just like we have to go through that spiritual awakening we have to go through kundalini we have to go through dark night of the soul we have to go through ascension all these things for our lives to be you know thrown all away you know it's just like we're throwing all our belongings up in the air and everything's all over the place and you take pick on what things that you need to have in your life and all the rest of it has to go and i really think of it that way it's just a metaphor of, you know, just like, you know, you have so much, like if you're a pack rat. And I know a lot of pack rats. I mean, even when I watch horrors, it makes me want to just start throwing more stuff away in my house. And I'm not even a hoarder. <laughs> but it's, it's just like, you, you're finding your purpose in life. And it, it, it can be very challenging at times. If you, you know, you're a positive person, you you know, you already, already established it. Yeah, I'm a Hayoka or I could be an empath. And I just recently found out I'm a Hayoka. And that's a lot of us. We are all starting off as empaths and we're migrating towards bigger and better things that have been brought into our lives that we didn't even know was instilled in us already. So it's like that light switch comes on and we snatch that veil off and then we're just seeing life as we know it is different we don't have that that limited belief anymore we're not working on our fears we're not letting ego ride us you know you hear you'll still hear ego there but you're at that point where or you're almost at that point where you know it's i hear it all the time and i have to tell ego look listening to you has got me stuck here for the longest time in the first place <laughs> I can't be listening to that ego. I had to go off on what my higher self was going because my higher self is going to tell me stuff better than what my ego is. My ego is going to sit up here and tell me anything that I really don't want to hear. I really don't. <laughs> so it, it's just like when we find our purpose, I think it's such a beautiful thing. Especially, you know, when people are sending me comments and stuff like that or sending me emails like, Rosalind, I need you to help me find my true purpose. And I, I really don't mind helping people. And it, it's just... You know, you never should be afraid to ask if you know you're talking to the right person. 
and you know as an empath you know who to talk to and who not to talk to about certain things and it's like I love it when y'all keep coming at me I mean there's sometimes I have to cry there's sometimes it takes me a couple of days before I even get back to you because it's like just within your words it's like I can go off of what happened in your life just by the things that you're putting on you know in your letter and I mean it could be so many things I'm just like wow I, you know I really feel them or wow I really you know I can feel the things that they've been through and it's just the fact that when I knew my life purpose it was such a blessing to be able to help somebody else as well so it's just like when I always think about, you know, going through that spiritual awakening and not knowing and not having anybody to turn to was a scary feeling in my life. And I was just like, how am I going to be able to get through this? You know, what am I going to do? What is my purpose in life? You know, I got all these things that I want to do, but how do I achieve them? And it was just like so many blessings start popping off left and right, left and right. You know, these things would come off where, I'm, you know, I'm learning about more things and I was researching on them and then voicing my opinion towards y'all. And it was just the impact, the overwhelming impact that I got in response from y'all was awesome. It was really awesome. So it's just like, I know I found my purpose in life. I love what I do. There are so many people that are out there that resonate with my life, resonate with the things that I've been through that I can tell them, you know, I went through this as well. I got through it. I'm still getting through it. But it's not as hard as it was when I first started. And if I know I can do it, you can do it as well. So it's just like when you go through those things in life and you're finding your purpose, that is a true blessing. So, you know, when you find your purpose, keep going. Keep going. You never know what else is going to come out of that purpose. You know, you, you find out one thing about yourself and next thing you know, after a couple months, you're going to find out six other things about yourself that you didn't even know existed. So keep going. You never know. Keep teaching that knowledge to yourself and knowing that 411 will come to you every time when you need it. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe holidays. Um, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. If you have loved ones you have not spoken to for a while, and if it's something that you can mend, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that because life is too short. You know, I've seen too many people that have been losing loved ones left and right. right. They thought as soon as it's going to be here longer than they were. So you never know. So if there's some things that you're going through with your family, and especially when the holidays, I would love to be with my family right about now. But things happen the way they happen. So if you have that time, go ahead and spend it with them family. So you never know when they're there or your last day will be here. So I'm sending out as much love and light and positivity as I possibly can. And much love and infinite abundance and comforting vibes, healing vibes and loving vibes to whoever truly needs them. And know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification shout out goes to Miss Diane Wyatt. I think that's your name, wait, Wyatt, wait, wait, wait. Is Wyatt or Wyatt? I'm sorry, but you know who I'm talking to. Much love to you, peace. And I hope I didn't murder your name or butcher your name. I apologize if I did. But like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And you know, drop me a line and let me know. You know, you hit the notification bell so you be on the notification squad so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. So once again, have happy holidays. Much love to you. Peace and be wild. Be responsible and safe for everything you do. And much love to you.